Hello, welcome back to Desktop Publishing with Cork Express. My name is Martin Turner, I'm the author of Desktop Publishing with Cork Express, and this is a series of videos running throughout 2017, which week by week looks at different aspects of using Cork Express uh, as page layout and publishing software in the real world. Well, today uh, I want us to look at image grids. And again, this is another feature which people often say, well, why can't Cork do that? And the answer is yes, it can. So, I want you to imagine that you've got uh, a load of images and you need to just put them into a, a new document uh, and you want to create pages to go there. You think, well, that's, that's quite a chore. Uh, I need to, I, you know, how long is this going to take me? Well, the answer is about 15 seconds. Let's go to the screen. I'm going to Utilities, Image Grid. And I've got, a, I've got a page open. I've got nothing else. I've got no item cells or anything in, in this document. And... Um, uh, Image grid uh, basically creates a grid of images, as it does what it says on the tin. Box size, I'm going to set like that. Uh, I'm going to say autofill pages using fixed size for limit. I'm going to import 100% of fit box to picture, and I'm going to process a folder now. So let's go through that again. Box size I've set, I've set a gap. Um, I've uh, said to autofill the pages. Um, there's different options, so that's an interesting one. I'm going to fit box to picture and import it 100%. Now, process folder. Uh, I've helpfully called this one folder to process. You see my thinking there. Uh, and choose. Bang! Look at that. Um, so uh, this was a, uh, a series of images I took at a, a reenactment a couple of years ago. And um, uh, what it's done is it's created pages uh, to suit. Uh, and uh, with a little bit of playing around, we could set those sizes uh, to uh, essentially populate an entire magazine, which was the magazine challenge which we saw in the pilot. Um, these don't do a great deal. Uh, I mean, these, these pages would be ripe for um, uh, turning into cutouts, and it's important them at 100% but fit to box. And so when the box fills the margins, it stops importing it and, and just crops it. Uh, that's not all you can do. So let's just do a Command Z to undo a few times. And uh, that's very helpful that you can undo the entire image grid with undo, because it means you can try it out, find what you like, and, and find what you don't like. OK, I'm now going to go to Auto Size to uh, 10 rows by 10 columns. I'm going to turn off import at 100%. I'm going to fit proportionally to box, and uh, I'm not going to fit box to picture anymore. And look what we get this time. Uh, and again, choose. And look at that. In, in Wonga, we've got uh, effectively a contact sheet. Very, very useful if, if you've got a load of images to discuss with uh, uh, your boss or client or whoever it is. Um, maybe 10 on a page is, is, is too much. So let's again go back to that and, and it's persistent. So if I uh, want to change this, uh, I can keep changing it and keep coming back. Uh, and maybe I also want to add the picture info now. So um, uh, as you can see, bad picture. I'm going to add name only. So I've just got rubbish file names for these. But if I'd named the files, by their content, this would actually create captions for them. Uh, auto size six by seven, uh, fit proportionate to box, and uh, process folder. Uh, again, we'll choose yes. Uh, and this time, I've got a, a, a more reasonable uh, size. Now, on this one, it, it, it's come off the bottom of the page, so I've got too many rows on there. But those have been quite good captions elsewhere. What else can you do with this? Let's have a look. So again, utilities, image grid. Uh, and this time, I'm going to do uh, a rounded box. OK, this, this might look a little bit tacky. Uh, I'm going to do a fixed size, uh, which will make 120 by 120. Uh, and we'll put a 60 millimeter gap in. We're going to put a drop shadow on that as well. Uh, and uh, we will. Uh, once again, uh, process the folder. Now, 
Now, I, I agree these look like uh, drinks mats, um, particularly if I then um, uh, pull these right out like that. Uh, but once again, you see uh, the power of using this, this quite um, little known automation feature uh, in Quark Express, uh, which again has been in for quite a few uh, versions. Uh, and I've, I've had this uh, online quite often. People say, well, why can't I do this in Quark Express? Um, uh, you know, I, I want to do it and, and so on. And, and the feature's already there. Now, it, it's not just restricted to uh, image files. So uh, it, it's called image grid, but we can use vector files as well. And that means we can actually uh, do entire PDFs uh, of a document. So let's, let's do a new layout now. Uh, and I've, I've got some PDFs I want to bring in. Uh, so um, image grid. Uh, and I think what I want uh, is some images from <coughs> some font stuff, which we were going to look at, but didn't quite get as far as, um, which is, <coughs> uh, let me see uh, if I can find this. Uh, choosing fonts of kerning, there we go. Um, ouch, didn't find anything. Let's try again. Let's try process subfolders. Um, and Actually, let's just do the whole lot. <clears throat> That's now gone through every image uh, in my uh, entire range of, of prep stuff uh, for this document. It's going to take a little bit of time, and it will keep creating pages until it's done it. Uh, in fact, I, I probably will want to, to, to just let this get on with it. Okay, so um, don't think that actually, okay, so you can see there are PDFs here, and if we separate it out, <coughs> the pages for the PDFs, we could load in an entire, uh, say, 36-page report where <coughs> perhaps the only thing you wanted to change was the footer was wrong. The footer had the previous name of the company and you want to replace that with the new name of the company. So import all 36 pages of your PDF uh, as image grid, one per page at full size, and then using a master page, just put across the bottom uh, an opaque new footer. Now, you're probably thinking, well, <clears throat> that sounds really good, but could I not do that and convert to native objects and then make every page editable? Well, the answer is you can and you can't. Uh, you can load stuff into image grid and uh, you can per PDF change to native objects. So let's just go and, and, and find a PDF there and we'll do that. Um, so uh, here's a PDF. And uh, we're going to do uh, I style, convert to native objects, um, and uh, ignore all those things. And what we'll find if we go right down there is that all that text is now editable. Um, you need to ungroup it first. Okay, all that text is now editable. Um, and those graphical elements can be manipulated separately. But um, if you really want to, to go out of the way on this one, um, uh, there's uh, an extension called, um, I think, Multi-Import PDF. It's by Creation Orts. Arno Lamy, and you can, you can Google for that, and for just a, a few dollars, you can have entire books imported. It's, it's a one-off cost. It, it, you get the extension, you can use it again and again. You have entire books uh, imported uh, as, um, uh, it's called import PDF, that's what it's called. Entire books imported and directly converted into text, which you can uh, link together or do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, and that's incredibly powerful. Uh, and it's, it's one of the exciting features of Quark Express's extensions. And uh, there are more extensions available all the time now. There's a bit of a resurgence in extension use. So anyway, that's the image grid. Uh, I hope that's been interesting to you and, and somewhat exciting. I, I find it really exciting. And, and if you go back to the pilot when we did the, the magazine 
in eight minutes, I use the image grid extensively to just fill things up. So if you uh, set your images to be the right size when you output them from Capture One or whatever you're using, uh, then they will come in as one or two per page in exactly pretty much the right place. And providing you're willing to do a little bit of work, then you can get that working in an almost automatic fashion. Um, not right for everybody, but if it's right for you, then do enjoy it. My name is Martin Turner. This is Desk Publishing for Quark Express. Uh, you can get the book from Amazon uh, or from your local bookstore. And I hope you'll join us again uh, for the rest of the series.